Hello guys, welcome again to the Tech Squad. Thank you for the massive subscriptions. Thank you for the support. So today we have quite an amazing machine here with us. The HP Pavilion 15 2018 model. Something different, something quite special, amazing in terms of specifications, the design, the modifications from the previous model. On the previous episodes, we've been measuring on, we can say business laptops and commercial laptops, quite affordable laptops for for the for now the current homeschooling and work at home stuff. But today we're having something special for the gamers, graphic designers, the architects, those who need laptops for high-end computing. And so today, this Pavilion 15, there is quite some difference in terms of processor, in terms of uh, graphics card, and again, I've not yet reviewed a laptop with uh, this, this kind of storage in this laptop. So on this Pavilion 15, the first thing, it uses the AMD's Ryzen 3 processor. The Ryzen 3 uh, just came, it, it was released somewhere around 2018, coming to 2019. It was a series of four types of processors by the AMD. The Ryzen 3, the Ryzen 5, the Ryzen 7, and the Threadripper being the highest end uh, processor on that series. Now for the Ryzen 3, we can comparatively say it's uh, it's more of a Core 5 but it's not much into Core 7 Actually, it's not into Core 7 but it's fully above Core 3 but more of the same as Core 5 Same performance as Core 5, different processor, better graphics. The machine has Radeon Vega 6 graphics card. Radeon Vega 6, we can't say it's a, it's a powerhouse graphics card. But at the same time, it's not an entry-level graphics card, meaning it will serve your it will serve your basic gaming needs, your basic graphic design needs. I mean, basic graphics needs. The Radeon Vega 6 will be much sufficient. Let's look what has been modified, what has been maintained, what has uh, what has actually been omitted. Starting with the, with the ports, but even with the, before the ports, it is a 15 inch, but it feels like a 14 inch or a 13 inch laptop. I mean, HP have just tried to modify good specs, have all the good specifications, the massive storage of one terabyte, the 15.6 inch, it houses a graphics card, but it's in a very light laptop. And again, it's a full body metallic. So something is not adding up, but it actually does because we have the laptop here with us. So all the good specs, the massive graphics card, the massive storage, the full body metallic, but in a very, very portable machine. One thing that is noticeable is about the bezel. In previous, in the previous uh, pavilion models, we used those wide bezels, but for this one, they have really reduced it to slightly something like 0 0.5 centimeters on each on each side. Another modification is with the fan space. Normally, we are used to the pavilion having a broad fan space at the bottom side but now for this one the fan space is right behind the speakers what does that mean you have the whole atmosphere for ventilation and if you're having two fans for a laptop and the ventilation space is restricted for instance if you are if you're working on a glass table ventilation is restricted and you have two fans what will happen? The machine will start hanging or may even or may even lag and power off. We usually have those abrupt shutdowns, but you may not know. But if but if you leave the laptop for like three, five minutes, then it again powers on. That's due to 
with the restricted ventilation. So for this machine, they've really tried to modify the ventilation space to bring it to the top side so that you have the whole atmosphere for for your for your farm space, I mean. Coming to the ports, they have omitted the C D drive. Of course nobody no longer needs it. So it has been omitted. Another omission is the extra USB USB 3.0 port. Normally the pavilions come with three port uh, three USB ports. Two for the 2.0 and one for the 3.0. Currently we are only having two 2.0. No other USB on this side. But there is a plus the USB C. You have the 3.1 USB Type C for charging and also for data transfer. Another thing they have really tried and maintained the Ethernet port for again data transfer and internet connectivity. For instance, if you're in an office setup and you don't have the wireless connection, then you have the Ethernet connection for the internet. Again, they have maintained the HDMI port, very important. We understand if you're doing gaming or you're doing some design, you need to project, you need to project your work on a bigger screen so as you can have better gaming experience, you see the players very well. And if you're doing graphic design, you need to project it to a bigger screen just to have a clearer view of whatever you're designing. And so for that, HP the blade trade. So what's special about the machine? In a laptop, we have uh, how many things? You can say four basic things. Number one is the processor. This one has the Ryzen 3 APU. I understand with the AMD they don't work with CPUs, they work with APU. Meaning the, the CPU that we are used to and, the, and now the GPU are both incorporated in one thing to make the APU. And so the Ryzen 3 in conjunction with the Radeon Vega 6 graphics is just so, so, it, I mean, it makes the laptop to be a powerhouse. You can say it is a powerhouse for this level of computing. But for general level computing, as I earlier mentioned, not an entry level, not a powerhouse, but sufficient for the task. Beginner, uh, uh, beginner gaming, beginner graphics, card, uh, graphic design. I keep confusing the two graphics card, graphic design, but only not we have the, we get to the point. So the CPU, the GPU combined to make an APU, which is very strong. Again, we are talking of uh, the RAM. The machine comes with 12 GB, 12 bits of RAM, expandable to either 16 or 32. If you have your finances right and the machine needs bigger memory, then you have the space, you can do up to 32 bits of RAM. That will make it so fast, so stable, and you don't have you don't have hanging issues when you are when you're working with your projects or rather when you're gaming. Again the storage. A terabyte. Currently you have in one TB that comes with the laptop. But again you have a you have a slot for the SSD. So you have an option of later making the laptop to be hybrid. Meaning you'll be having both SSD and HD on the same board and that would that would ensure that you have both a fast laptop and a massive storage what else would you need in a laptop you have massive storage you have good ram you have good graphics card all of them in a very slim laptop and now the fourth one the modification in ventilation that's very important for the task that we're talking about we need the fan to be running. And so having the fan space, actually it has two fan spaces. The bottom one is there, still maintained, but the major, the primary ventilation space is behind the, behind the speakers. Mentioning the speakers, the machine comes with the bang and all of them, B and O. 
if you used the HP Spectra series before the NV and some of the pavilions before the before they used to come with bits audio but now the these ones are coming BNO. BNO gives an amazing sound output and that's what we're having in this system. So guys if you are if you're looking for a laptop for gaming, for graphic design or any high end computing task, I would surely recommend this laptop to you. I've not had so much time to test it but I've but I've installed Windows and I've tested some few aspects, boot time, less than 40 seconds, uh, the speakers are amazing as I've said, quite a good display, so the, for, the, for the camera they've still maintained the 720p, maybe on the next one they, they'll consider the 1080p but 720p is still quite okay with Skype and Zoom and such stuff, so guys this is this an amazing laptop and I mean for gaming, for graphic design, entry to mid to mid level, it will serve the purpose. If it doesn't count it on me. So for the price, the 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 laptop currently goes for a market price of slightly something to do with seventy thousand, but it's currently on offer here at Electrica. We're selling it at fifty five thousand shillings only and it comes with one year warranty with the specifications of AMD Ryzen 3 uh, Radeon Vega 6 graphics 1 terabyte storage 55,000 shillings one year warranty where we located Kimati Chambers second floor room 9 the contacts are on the description and also the location thank you for watching till the next video